Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is definitely different in comparison to what I would normally film, but I do really like to keep you guys in the loop about things that are going on in my life, outside of flying, outside of work, etc. So I figured I would just still vlog and make today's video. I wanna say it was a few months ago, I started getting a little bit of pain in my neck. I didn't think anything too much of it. I just thought maybe I slept on it wrong. It was just kind of bothering me a little bit on the left side. I thought maybe I tweaked it a little bit and to be honest I've just kind of ignored it and then earlier this week two days ago I woke up and I was almost in tears. I was in so much pain I can hardly even move my head like I can move it maybe like this much to the right before I start getting pain and then maybe like This much to the left before I start getting pain and it's like this shooting pain that goes up the left side of my neck and it's been giving me headaches too and it's always been this dull achy pain that has been there and then I started getting the really sharp pains this week and so I was like you know what I've waited around long enough we should just go to the doctor and see if something's wrong I don't want to be dramatic and I don't want to make this out to be more than what it actually is I'm hoping it's nothing but I would rather be safe than sorry if this was my knee or my foot I think I would know how to better deal with this just because I have had injuries on my knee and my foot from gymnastics so I know what that type of pain feels like but with my neck this has just been too long and I don't know what's going on so I just want to go get it checked out we're gonna figure out what this is so I'm actually at an orthopedic specialist right now specializes in spinal and neck pain this time of year here is so beautiful look at all of these leaves and the colors it is just gorgeous I'm going to head inside and I will let you all know what the doctor says morning everybody it is the next day you want to say hi Luna Eric is in there working right now and I just set up our little table I like doing this little setup for the month of November I think it came out really pretty this year So yesterday I told you guys that I was going to see a doctor and I did see the doctor and what he said that was basically he can't diagnose anything without actually being able to see what the problem is. He thinks I have a herniated disc, but obviously he cannot be 100% sure until we get a scan. So today I am going to get an MRI. I am not feeling much better than I was yesterday. I still have this like dull achy pain that is just going up like the side of my neck and into my head and it's still the same as yesterday like I can maybe turn my head a little bit more this way before I start feeling pain like I can get to here but then on this side it's it's the same I can hardly turn past my collarbone without being in pain so I'm a little upset I just feel like this is a bit of a bummer because with my neck being like this and in this much pain I definitely cannot fly this week but today I'm getting the MRI done so I need to take my earrings out because I don't know if you've ever had an MRI done but you cannot have any type of jewelry or metal because then it can really mess with the scan I used to have three piercings on each side but then I let my third holes close and then I actually used to have my cartilage pierced right here too but then I just I don't know I just stopped wearing it and then I just let that one close up and then I actually have to take out my belly button piercing too which I have not taken this out since I was in college since I got it done so hopefully I can figure out how to do this I had to ask Eric for help but I did get the little piercing out I just got to the doctor's office. Thankfully, it was only like a five minute drive from where we live, so that is awesome. And now we're gonna go get this MRI done and hopefully we can figure out what is going on with my neck. I am about to get my MRI done. I'm a little nervous, but I think everything's gonna be okay. I just have to take my watch off on this hand and then we are good to go. does this thing where when she's too tired to keep playing frisbee but she doesn't want to go inside yet she just lays down with her toy oh 
Now you're up and ready to go. Lena, I'm biased, but you are so gosh darn cute. So Luna just turned six and I'm trying not to cry because she's starting to get some gray around her eyes, but she still is so cute and acts like a puppy. She has so much energy, but it's so hard when you start to see your dogs age a little bit. Hey guys, so it has been about a week now since I got my MRI done and I'm still waiting on my results. I actually don't have an appointment until Monday and today is Wednesday. Also, they gave me the disc. Like I have the MRI results right here, but obviously I'm not a doctor, so I can't read them. For those of you who don't know, an MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It is a non-invasive medical imaging test that produces detailed images of almost every internal structures in the human body, including the organs, bones, muscles, and blood vessels. MRI scanners create images of the body using a large magnet and radio waves. So when you go into an MRI, if you're claustrophobic, it would probably be pretty scary for you. So when you go into it, it's like this tube that they put you in. And specifically, since I had to do my spine and my neck, they put this thing around the front of my head and I just had to lay there as still as possible for, I think it was only like 20 minutes though. It wasn't super long. It was only like 20 to 30 minutes and it was so loud. I forgot how loud MRIs are because I haven't gotten any since I was a gymnast. I also should mention too that my neck is doing so much better. I can actually turn it without being in a ton of pain anymore. The doctor did give me a steroid to take over this past week, which has helped a lot with inflammation. It wasn't a pain pill. It was just like a steroid pack and it helped so much with the inflammation that I think that is why I'm able to move my neck now. So we'll just see what the MRI results say on Monday and what the long-term plan is. I I have a few random things I want to show you guys though. One, I decided to decorate my Kindle. I think it looks so cute. I just got the clear case and some stickers from Amazon and the pop socket. Also, if you are looking for a good Christmas gift for someone that reads a lot, I would highly recommend a Kindle. I will link the one that I have below. I absolutely love, love, love my Kindle. And then also yesterday I picked up the holiday edition of Fourth Wing and put it on my bookshelf. I picked up one copy for me and one for my mom. So the next time I go to Las Vegas, I'll bring this one to her. I have decided that I will no longer be purchasing books from Amazon, like actual print copies of books from Amazon because I pre-ordered this special edition of Fourth Wing months ago. Like as soon as it was announced, I pre-ordered it on Amazon and then it was supposed to be delivered yesterday. So during the day yesterday, I went on the Amazon app and I was looking to see when it was going to ship and get delivered because it was supposed to be delivered yesterday and I didn't even get a shipping notice. And then they said it was going to be delayed a week. And I said, nope, absolutely not. Because the last time I did this, they kept delaying my order and then they ended up canceling it and I never got it. So I went to a Target and then they didn't have it in stock. And then I went to a Barnes and Noble and they finally had this beautiful edition of Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing was one of my favorite books this year. It just means a lot to me. And I just think it was an amazing book. So that's why I really wanted this special edition because the cover is beautiful. It has the black sprayed edges and then the cover page on the inside is different and then towards the back there are two chapters that are in Zayden's point of view he's like the main male character so it has the bonus content to it as well also so many of my friends who also read fantasy messaged me and said that Amazon had delayed their order weeks or even up to like a month. So they canceled their order and went to Barnes and Noble or Target or wherever to get the copy of this book. And then also if you go on Amazon and look up Iron Flame, which is book two to Fourth Wing, so many people were saying that their copy was delivered to them damaged and that is just not okay. So Amazon completely dropped the ball. This is like the second or third time this has happened to me. I'm no longer ordering books from Amazon. I'm just gonna order from Barnes and Noble or from a local bookshop. When I picked up my books from Barnes and Noble yesterday, they gave me me this tote bag that says I earned my dragon at Baskayeth. That's the name of the dragon riding school in the book, as well as a bookmark, this sticker, and this temporary tattoo. So that is just awesome and something that Amazon definitely was not going to give me. So now that my neck is feeling better, I am excited to go back to work tomorrow. I'm going back to flying. I took some time off to do some personal trips. Like I went to Hawaii with Tiffany, Utah to see my sister and my mom, and then Las Vegas to see my parents. So that was 
was all really awesome, but I'm looking forward to actually going back to working flights. So that is what I have going on tomorrow. And so I think I will probably end this video here and then start my next vlog tomorrow. And then hopefully I will get my MRI results back and I will include those in the next video. I have to wake up so early tomorrow. So my plans for the rest of today are actually to get a YouTube video live. Um, I just want to read and relax and pack for my trip and just hang out. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to see you in future videos. Make sure that you guys stay tuned for more flight attendant content coming soon and I'll see you next time. Bye.